Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Thanks so much for joining me for day 40 of Take a Journey with Me. The title of today's poem is called Peace. I wrote this after a sermon in December of 6, 2006, and it was about a Christmas sermon. And, you know, this is something I've tried to obtain for years, the inner peace. We all have, right? A thirsting and a longing to obtain it. For six years now, I've had a word of the year for each year, and one of those words was peace, and it really helped me grasp a better understanding. A couple passages, Psalms 4, verse 8. In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Proverbs 12 and 20. Deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil, but those who plan peace have joy. Peace. Following God's commandments is the way to peace. P-E-A-C-E, -E, preparing each action centered around Emmanuel. That's the way to go. The light of the peace candle removes darkness within my soul's pain. I must not let the opposite action happen, for then my soul will be lost. We all wish to have peace within our own skin. To do this, we must be at one with the peacemaker. Life can be in turmoil and full of conflict, but we must learn to accept each other and agree to disagree. Do not fall prey to the prince of darkness's false security. You will only find safety under God's light of peace. Humble yourselves before the Lord and accept his acceptance. For in this we can do those things we must for our peace of mind. Yes, it's true that with forgiveness comes love, but also without forgiveness we can have no peace. The Bible tells us of the peace God did not come to give us. It also tells us of the peace God is willing to give us if we let him in. The slaves in the Bible and in the world since fought for their freedoms. Do not let others take away your freedom to believe as you wish today in him. The military fights and fought <clears throat> for your security and for the freedom you have today. Take hold of the peace that God gives us through the freedom. God went through the ultimate sacrificial fight for your life. Live now with the peace that comes with that knowledge. Peace. What brings you peace and closeness to Father God? If you have found this, then you cannot forget it, right? Especially when times are troubling in your life. Go to God and thank him today for the peace that you have found in your life and pray you have more peace every day. I love y'all. Have a blessed day, especially it's because it's Sunday. God bless.